again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery and you're looking at a 20 by 20 by 2 inch canvas which is gallery wrapped. And I am supposed to be doing something else so I'm playing hooky. I need a little art therapy and this is what's going to happen. I just filled up my black and I have been making some really, really cool flower, starburst, cosmic, I don't know, just really nice flower shapes. and. It has encouraged me to think that maybe I would want to try that with a little more intensity on a larger piece. So hopefully I can rotate this turntable even though it's not big enough for this canvas and do this in a fairly quick way. I, it occurs to me I should have checked for my glasses which are obviously inside on my desk. So we're going to be flying blind quite literally. Uh, um, so here goes nothing I guess. And a uh, good thing I'm used to doing this. <laughs> and I have, because I have such a wide canvas, I may take a moment, in a moment, to slap my OXO omelet turning spatula. O OXO paint spreading, I call them. Paint spreading miracles spatulas onto the edge of my canvas, especially where I can see it is dripping down very quickly. Hey, that's working really well, and I'm not sure you can see everything I'm doing, but I think you might get, get the gist. And uh, it's nice to have, not have to waste the paint that's dripping down right now. I kind of imagine some of this will be out of your line of sight for a minute or two, so you'll forgive me. So what I'm supposed to be doing is finishing the final draft of the book that we wanted to get out for Christmas. It will be out for Christmas. So if you get Amazon gift, gift cards, I can tell you what to do. I guess it's going to be three days to a week before Amazon approves whatever we send in. And it's a 120, 120 page book. So um, I'm on page like, I don't know, 30. <laughs> I got a ways to go today. So I'm going to take this uh, this attempted 20 to 40 minutes and have some fun, hopefully, using my ooh, new basting brush, old basting brush, and all of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas that can be found on my Amazon link, which used to be below the video, but is probably now below Show More, that's below my Teespring stuff, which is a debacle unto itself. I'm not having successful sales because I'm not able to post anything new. They're just not as organized as I wish they were, and their editing is atrocious. I don't think it's me. I really don't. Usually I would think it was me, but in this case I'm not so sure. So I'm almost done with this, and that's nice. And I've chewed on your ear long enough. Now I have to decide what colors come next. And I kind of want to move this tail tile forward so maybe you have a better chance to see this bottom edge. So I'm going to put this spatula into my water bucket, which I will dispose of not down the pipes from my house, and I recommend you not do that either. There's, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> there's a lot of this black paint. Yeah, there's a lot of this black paint. That doesn't make any sense at all. Never mind. So, now I get to decide, and what I really like are the, is the catalytic reaction between the black and white. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it simple. It's sort of like something I already did that you may have seen. I, I think it's the introductory video on the uh, new subscribers on my channel header too, which is okay. I think because I can, I'll leave that top off right now. And uh, maybe I want the smaller Princeton art, excuse me, the smaller Oxos spatula. Just spread that paint out a little bit so I don't have any naked canvas showing. Let's see if I'm any good at this at all, because I'm kind of thinking that this might might work for more areas than just the white. I might be able to pull the paint right out. But uh, I want to do some things I haven't done before, and I don't know if I'll actually be able to do that or not. I'm going to take the paint that is stuck to my finger, wipe off my spatula on my wet rag I keep ever present, and decide on a next color. I kind of like to make a center. I like this turquoise. 
Let's find something to put down in there so I kind of center things to a degree. And I gotta make sure now, if I'm not spatulating that paint flat to make sure that the canvas is covered, I also want to make sure that it's covered. I don't know if that makes any sense. I think I just want to use colors I want to use right now. And if I squeeze kind of hard, it'll puddle it out, which is okay because I'm going to be pulling paint with that basting brush and or other things. So let's put a little more in the middle. I like the idea of leaving the middle void because as it turns out, as I start to pull and push paint, I also wind up with um, more paint than I know what to do with in the center and then I wind up having to think I have to remove it. So this is Prussian blue that comes in a tube and then I mix it with the GAC 800 by Golden, just 10 or 20 percent of it to make sure that I don't um, crack, that my paint doesn't crack while it's drying. <laughs> and it's got a little deco or pouring medium is what, what I was trying to tell you. Um, and that makes makes it sell. Woo, Missy. Okay. Well, I guess I don't mind if it's a little messy because we are going to be pulling. We're going to be pulling paint with a basting brush. I want some other colors in there. I'm going to try and get some yellow and some orange in there. I don't know how well we'll keep these colors since I'm definitely not. Um, I keep cutting myself off. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not what? I don't know. I'm just feeling a little rushed and I, I need to probably chill my jets out and just do what I'm doing and not worry about it too awful much. It looks like a big target. No advertising implied. All right, I want some gold. And I think it usually blends with the white, so I may not keep it, but I can always add it afterwards and I want it there now. What else? I have a beautiful pink. But I also have a magenta and I haven't used my neon folk art, neon purple, which is now available from plaid also. I keep telling everybody. I discovered that at Walmart the other day. Wise of them because I'm sure they sold a lot of it want more blue and I like what the blue and the black do together so I'm gonna go ahead and give myself permission right now to do that I said I was gonna use yellow I just want to zigzag through there maybe I'll just combine them both it's basically a neon rainbow I can see that now and that blue being next to the green, uh, excuse me, that blue being next to the yellow will definitely create some green. Um, I either want to throw some red in there. Yeah, I guess I do. Because I can. I know I don't say that very much anymore, but I still do things because I can. So what else? I love this blue here. So let's give that other blue a little edge. As long as we're going for rainbow, let's just go for rainbow. I don't know what I'll add. But I've never just gone to town on a really big one of these. And I'm going to have to keep a rag handy, I think, to wipe off my, my stuff. What I really want to do out of the gate is take some paint from, <laughs> from the center and go that way. And I have something I can wipe off my spatula with onto a silicone baking sheet next to me. And I think I'm just going to try and see what happens when I do that. Simple enough. I don't know if that's going to be, that's probably definitely not going to be the end result. But I always wanted to just start like that. And I am dribbling some paint so it's not the tidiest process in the world. There's quite a bit of paint on there, and I think I'm just going to... See, now I just got to the point where I could go like, hey, I'm done. <laughs> Which happens more often than not, actually, sometimes. So I like the, um, 
I like that turquoise center somewhat. And I, most of my tips were behaving today. That was nice. Whoops. I spoke too soon. I like that. And I was just thinking, wouldn't it be nice to use my neon purple in there? But I remember that I really can't do that without some white next to it. The white is the only thing that keeps the neon popping. So I'm going to give myself some of that right there. And then I'm going to do that. Because it feels like fun to me. And if I want some gold, well, you know what? I just want to try, let's try first, try that. And that's actually a pretty good position for my, oh, I left some paint in my way. Not a good idea right now. It's a very good idea to wipe off my basting brush. I didn't use the big one yet. That's picking up a lot of paint, but it's also really colorful, and I like it. And the basting brush invariably makes cells. I've got my other basting brush sitting in the puddle of paint I'm dragging off. All right, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to rinse that right off for right now. I'm going to contemplate whether I want something Let's just do something weird. And go in to the center and see what happens with that. Now the only thing, I do like that actually, except for I think, I'm afraid I'm going to go a little too far. Picking up a lot of paint. Need to be a little more delicate. Rinse that off again. I am very tempted to grab my straw if I could find it, or my medical tubing, both of which are not in evidence, inconveniently enough, at this exact moment. If you want to just lean over, and there's a straw. I found one. Cool. All right, so there's our center, and I think I'm going to grab a skewer. And add a little organic wobble. I'm liking the little black negative space showing, but I don't know that there's enough of it, and I kind of want some extra drama in there. I also have not taken the time. I think I'm just going <laughs> to, I interrupted myself again, to pull paint with this skewer. I think I could actually stick those pulled skewers right in here, but I don't, yeah, I guess I will. <laughs> I guess I will find out right now. That landed, landed right on my toe. So that's all pretty neat, as far as I'm concerned. It could be, it could be a purple center, or that could be what I would prefer, or I could put a black center in there and I may get. Maybe the Prussian blue is the answer, because that might sell also. And at the very least, let's go ahead and use the edge of one of my Princeton Catalyst spatulas. Do I want some gold in there? I kind of do. I've got plenty of that white. 
and I gotta follow through with my stroke. No matter what I'm doing, I gotta follow through with that stroke all the way out if I want it to look like petals. And I kind of do want it to look like petals. This is just sort of an extension of what's, what I've been doing recently. And picking up those other colors just sort of adds dimension, which I like, adding the dimension to things. And because I'm just dragging the spatula through, I'm not completely undoing all of the cool patterns that we can see here. But I am camouflaging spaces that just sort of hang out. We got thick paint, which is good because as I drag my spatula, whoops, that was a whoops. As I drag my spatula through, okay, I guess we're gonna have some anomalous marks. Let's see if I can get rid of my oops. Looks like the sleep, the napping man has awoken because the dogs are in the yard now. Let's see how long I have. I've got no minutes left, which means I got a few minutes to tell you everything I need to tell you, which is the book should be out by the time this video is aired. And uh, as I already mentioned, if you get Amazon gift cards for Christmas, you know what to do with them. I have mentioned Teespring and I am attempting to uh, offer some of my favorite artworks there on t-shirts with the, the, with the studio slogan. And I'm just gonna keep dragging my skewer because I feel like those drag marks are making a cohesive pattern and spreading the paint nicely where I wanna see it go. And that's all pretty neat. And we haven't taken, the t I have not taken the time to torch yet, which is a method to release bubbles. My paint pouring recipe is under the video in the description along with my Pinterest links at the bottom. Not sure I should have done that. Maybe it'll be fine. Um, and volumes one, two, and three of the Facebook albums containing the wet and dry artworks. Let's give it a moment. Let's make sure I have everything pulled that I want to pull. I see some unevenness and I have, see I'm, I'm also dragging a fair amount of paint with me. That can go in the bucket. Now I have a wet hand. Um, I'm going to run out of time, but um, I got to tell you I do sell my artworks and I have a bunch of videos showing dry artworks right now. So if you enjoy what I do and you'd like to see me keep doing it and you're not interested in playing an artwork, I, I am hoping that people will decide to contribute to keep the studio going so I can keep making videos. And we expect to make a couple more books, given when we finally have time. I like that white, but I want it up there. Maybe I can drag in from the outside. I gotta quit dribbling. I kind of want an orange center. I think everything else is somewhat even, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. This is Priscilla Batzel finishing the starburst, the solar flower, or something similar to that. Blech, there was paint on that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's bound to happen sooner or later. And I am going to take a skewer, hopefully not a filthy skewer. I'm going to be washing my hands in a minute, I can tell you that. Okay, so I still want pink. <laughs> Go figure. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. And you may be gone or not, but I'm going to give myself 